What's up, guys? Uh, I am going to be on the road with the Practical Jokers. It's the last leg of our tour now through August. These are the last cities and the last dates. There's 25 cities up right now. Uh, check it out at SavileCanoComedy.com. Big one, homecoming show, May 5th at Radio City Music Hall. There's going to be a lot of surprises at that show. Uh, it's our first show in New York in a long time. People will be there that you will be surprised and happy to see. And I am also going to be punished on stage live at that show. You don't want to miss it. That's May 5th, Radio City Music Hall. Also, April 21st, a big one at the Chicago Theater. That's also going to be a very special show. As well as, guys, we're in Cincinnati, Youngstown. Uh, we're playing Foxwoods for two. Orlando, Atlanta, Mobile, Alabama, uh, Atlantic City, New Jersey, July 13th at the New Oceans Casino Resort, and a lot more. Bethel, New York, and Saratoga Springs at their really big arenas there. Um, so we'll be on the road all the way through August 25th. Fifth. Hope to see you guys. Also, Impractical Jokers is airing Thursday nights right now at 10 o'clock on True TV and TBS. We're moving to TBS permanently in the summer when season 11 starts. And look for my stand up comedy special coming out very soon. Next couple of weeks will be specifics on that. Hope to see you guys on the road. SalvoCanoComedy.com for tickets. April 5th. Stanford, Connecticut. I will be at New York Comedy Club in Stanford, Connecticut with Mike Cannon. April 6th, I am producing Mike Cannon's comedy special. Get tickets. The tickets are almost sold out. See Mike Cannon do his wonderful one-hour special April 6th in Connecticut. April 16th, I will be in Dubai as a part of the Dubai Comedy Festival at the Dubai Opera House. June 3rd, Belfast. June 2nd, we've also added Amsterdam. It is not on sale yet, but it is coming on next week. June 3rd, Ulster Hall, Belfast. June 6th, O2 Institute, Birmingham. June 7th, O2 Shepherds Bush, Shepherds Bush London. June 10th, Manchester. June 11th, Liverpool. June 12th, Glasgow. And June uh, 13th, Dublin, Ireland. And then we've also added June 22nd, Atlantic City. I am co-headlining with Sam Morrill. Get the Tiki Wikis, chrisdcomedy.com. Don't be a flake, don't run away from your feelings, babe. Don't be afraid, don't be ashamed, don't hesitate to say, hey, babe, hey, babe, hey, babe, hey, babe, hey, babe, hey, babe. Hey, I just met you, and, and this is crazy, but here's my number, so call me, hey, babe. It's, it's hard, hard to look, look right at you, baby, <laughs> but here's my number, so call me, hey, babe. Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy, but here's my number, so call me Hey Babe, and, and all the other pods try to chase me, but here's my number, so call me Hey Babe. Hey, how you doing, everybody? We didn't, I didn't think we were going to go that many uh, verses in. We really tried to get to the cute, uh, all the other pods try to chase me. I'm happy that we did it, yeah. because you, I pulled up... You Car suggested it. Carly Rae Jepsen, because yeah. last episode we were talking about people with three names, and I thought about Carly Rae Jepsen, yes. so I said, let's pull up her. Where is she now? Carly Rae? Today. Where is Carly Rae like Jepsen? Like now, like noon. Oh, today? <laughs> right. If I had to guess, Carly Rae Jepsen right now is having brunch in Nashville. Oh, I thought she was eating a sandwich in her bathroom, but it's okay. Yeah, listen, call That's her up. If you're listening, we know that you're... Wow, she's blonde now. This was a smash hit, though. Is it, did she follow this up with anything? Yes, I really, 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 really like you, and no. I want to, and I need you. Is that a joke? <laughs> oh, <laughs> never. I thought it was like you were just making because it, uh, uh, it sounds like the same song. Uh, 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 she's she's a she's a she. She's from Sweden. She's in. Oh, she's in Sweden. <laughs> That's what she's eating. Can we play this? Oh, we're we gonna get. He's playing it. <laughs> oh, I do remember that. I do remember that. Really, 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 really want you. I want you. And I want you. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. So supposedly, al allegedly, <laughs> Carly Ray Je Jepsen. Sh shout out to her, by the way. And is it Jepsen, Jes Jespen, Jepsen, or Jetson? It's Carly Ra Jepsen. Okay, that's her name. So Carly Ra. So Carly Ra. So she alleged was the this song was made in a lab. That's right. I think we might have. 
I we might have spoken about this. I don't know. Yeah, but you know what? Here's the thing. It's let, okay. Let me let me let but me the three years we could we could, we could do that because let me tread on some familiar ground. Let me go back to what the great Epic Tia said. You never step in the same river twice. That's right. River's always flowing, babe. Right. So we're stepping in the river again. Yeah. But we're different people. The audience is different this people. Is Carly Ray's in Sweden. Yeah. Everything's different. What's Epic odd, Tia's was jacked. He was, he was jacked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He lifted a lot of rocks. Yes. Um, I, I haven't heard of Epictetus until just now. Well, Epictetus, he... Epicurious? Epicurious is another one. Epicurean philosophy. Okay. So the Epicure and the, well, Epicure, Epicurus... Here's the thing about Epicurus, okay? Yeah. Epicurus was all about hedonism, okay? Epicurus was like, listen, here's the truth, babe. Hedonism means just go and have sex, have everybody have live sex. Live life. Oh, right. Who cares? Like, uh, like, oh, like, uh, yeah, like they do hedonism. Now. Did you ever go to hedonism? No. Would you ever go? You know what that go. is? I would go. It's like a vacation. <laughs> it's like a vacation where everybody goes in the heat. Did they I heat it go. up? Yeah. You can't bring the kids? You can't. It depends who you are. Yeah. Um, well, if your kids are of age, you can bring them. True. Odd. So Epic, Epicurious, what his philosophy was, it's interesting. He was saying basically, basically that I'm not saying go out and, you know, have sex with everything. I'm just saying live life to the fullest. Always seek pleasure. Always seek pleasure. And that's what but, but above everything else. But because if I'm seeking pleasure all day long, it's going to get in the way of other thing. But here's the thing. Please here, the thing. Here, here's the caveat. Yeah. Here's the. Here's I think it's pronounced caviar, but go ahead. Right. Here's here's the caviar. Yeah. What he would say was is when I may when I say and the Epicurean philosophy was seek pleasure, but we're not saying gold sex. We're saying seeking pleasure is actually by having little. I I I defer back to another ancient philosopher, Marx. Really, has said it is not the poor man is not the one who had the poor man is not the one don't mess this, this up he's watching the, it from the top the poor man is not the one who has too little but the one who desires too much that That's is the correct. poor man so this is it flows into epicurus <laughs> he was basically saying i'm not saying go out there and have sex and buy a million yeah. buy a rolls royce babe or back then a rocks royce i'm yeah. not saying to do that i'm saying the best way to seek pleasure yeah. is actually to have less and live within your means but you said prior to that wasn't he about the hedonism but the hedonism, but basically it's like hedonism, but hedon, the hedons, hedonism now is different. It now okay. it's about sex, pleasure. Oh, but back, back then, then it was not. It was twisted a We've little bit. We've co-opted it to yes, mean yes. Sandals Resort where everybody's naked. Exactly. <laughs> Got you. Um, shout out Sandals Resort. Shout out Sandals. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out Sandals in general, actually. I, I will tell you this, Sal. <laughs> I will yeah. tell you this. Never in your damn life yeah. will you see your boy wearing a sandal. I won't do it. I refuse to do it. The last, I don't want to see a man's foot. Yeah. When was the last time? Because we were in Vegas one time. Were you wearing sandals then? No, I had By the socks and sneakers on at but, the beach. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you don't love your feet. I don't, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, uh, I am insecure about my feet. Yeah. I'm insecure about my feet and one, and you my left profile. Not my right. Oh, that's interesting. I don't like the left. You, you feel that they're different. I feel that they're different because I feel like either I have a lopsided head or the barber continuously gives me one haircut on the right side and a different haircut Look on the left side. Look straight at me right now. Look straight at me. <laughs> it seems symmetrical head on. Turn fully that way. Prof. Okay. <laughs> this is the side I like. Okay. That's okay. the side you like. Turn the other way, okay. Prof. I got news for you. Turn it again. And once back around, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's identical. The only thing what? that's going on is your hair is going this way. And so that's the only thing that gives it a different look. But which way am I supposed to comb my hair then? Well, which way have you always combed it? This way. That's the only way you always did it. But there was so a time. favor the other side because that's the way the hair is. Do you know my barber once told me to switch it up and train your hair to go back the other way? But it's a grace period because when you try to put it that way, it shoots straight up and you really got to. And I'm like, why, why, why? I used to comb my hair the other way. There was all last year. I combed my hair the other way. When I had you the glasses did? phase, I would comb it the other way. Some people liked it. Some people didn't. It split down the middle. And what happened? You woke up one day and you and you woke up one day and said, I'm going the other way. I just said, I'm going the other way. I said, I'm going to try this. And I, I, I went through a phase last year where I said, I don't give a damn who cares. I'm yeah. doing, I'm living life for me. And I started combing right. my hair the other way and I put on the glasses. I was epicurious. Yeah. But then like anything else, eventually one Instagram comment shattered my confidence and I yeah. went right back to People the old me. nice on the internet. Yeah, um, I'm back on my Instagram, by the way. Nice. I felt, well, I, I felt like, I, no, no, because I oh, felt like back in the. Well, I just felt like I'm back in a place where I can handle, handle it, it all, right. and and if I cannot handle it, and if I feel like I'm going back to sure. getting sucked in by the negativity, I know what to do now, and yeah. I know to get off. But I, I said, let me at least. Well, my therapist said, let me at least, let you at least try 
He should at least try. What's the point? Don't deprive yourself of everything. See if you have now gotten yourself to a healthy enough point where you can handle it. And now sure. you know if you can't, step back. It's risque, yeah. but... Yeah, with a QUE. Yeah. Exactly. Um, I, I'm keeping a caviar. I haven't... You are. I have not been on IG in a very long time. I actually had some downtime after I finally shot the special. And I was like, I'm getting off this thing. You haven't thing. been on IG, but you have been on GI, gastrointestinal, your boy's losing weight. You're looking good. That's that. Thank you very much. Yep. I appreciate that. Okay. I, I, got a, I got a couple of photo shoots coming up. I hate Whoa. those. You want to talk about not liking your face? I don't like the whole face, right? I got to be honest. You're you're one of these guys. You're cute at at every phase of your life. God. You look like radically different people, but you're always cute. That's, that's sweet of you. No, it's true. It's sweet of you. Uh, I don't know if I agree. Maybe like if you're looking at me, my my insides, I'm mm -hmm. always cute because I try to be a gen like a, a, a gentle like about soul. Yourself? What don't you like about yourself? You Physical know, feature. I told you it's my feet and my profile. What are your two? Yes. Well, I well, I mean, you know, when I'm doing photo shoots, I hate like I don't know how people can first of all act like we talked about this Jeremy Allen White when he was laying on a thing with his, his muscles out and his and his piece. Yeah. I don't know how people can yeah. take themselves seriously and just be like, yeah. like, like I'm a sexual being and you should long for me right like i can't do that and right. so i'm relegated to just this and i feel like i always look so stupid i have no personality it doesn't come through i don't know what to do with myself when when people start taking i don't know what to do then i also i hated my teeth because i chipped my tooth on a miller high life back in like 16 years ago shout out miller high life shout out miller high life Chip Chip. yeah and there you go. There's an alcohol. There's a Long Island alcoholic yeah. right there. <laughs> <laughs> and then i and then i stopped wearing my retainer out of the college i got a space i didn't like my teeth i fixed those I fixed them. Mm -hmm. So now they're kind they of straight. Great. Yeah. So that, that's a help. And then also I fluctuated 50 pounds up and down my entire life for the last 30 years. And so when I'm up at the top, I don't like that. And then, you know, when I'm, so right now I'm, I'm doing okay. Are you 50 I, pounds down? Uh, do we hit 50? Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's 49. Wow. Yeah. I want you to lose that pound by the end of this podcast. I'll, I'll Let's have a weigh in I'm now doing, and then I'm, just get him in a sauna <laughs> suit, crank the heat up. I'm doing super fast Kegels right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, so. It's, it's so funny too because you can't lose weight anymore now without everyone going, Ozempic. Yeah. And always. I feel bad for people who are taking Ozempic and it's working for them. It's changing their lives. That's good and everything. But this has been a year of me, of me eating better and, and then like six, seven months of intermittent fasting. Oh, so you've been on it. You've yeah, been on the fasting. I've been doing like uh, since like like six months ago, I was like trying not to eat till afternoon, but a lot of times I get so busy, I forget to eat, which is not healthy. Right. And then I'm like, I'm eating at four, five, six, seven o'clock for the first time. But only that one meal though. That day, yeah. Only, and then that's the only meal you'll have all day. On that day. But, but, that, but that, that's called the OMAD diet. Only one meal, one meal a day diet. I don't and know that's, that's, that's not that bad healthy either. though. It's not that it's not, it just, I think that the key is, is, is to keep your body guessing like that. Because when you, the thing is with you, when you do eat that one meal a day, it's pretty healthy. Right. You know? Yes and no. Yeah. Anyway. But anyway, so my point being is that like I, I was doing, and it's, it's a lot over time, but my body hits a certain weight and then you finally see it in my face. So it seems sudden to people, but, but it's, it's, it's been a minute. But my point is I still don't like taking photos. You take good photos. You think so? Yeah. I've seen Here's you. my move. Ready for me? Yeah. Say you're the camera guy and call action. Ready for this? All right. All right. And just feel yourself. And this is today's, we're going to make magic action. That's what I do. Here we go. And then you ready for this? All the way. Look in here. Look in here like this. All the way. Just the eyes. Oh, just the eyes. I don't That's know a that big one. one. So like, so, just the eyes. On my the profile that I like. So it's like this. So are you looking away from the camera or at the camera? Are you looking at the camera or are you looking away from the camera when you do no, that? No, no. So I'll, I'll profile it here. And then rather than putting my whole head back, just the eyes. Oh, so you look at the camera, but your face is that way. Exactly. Okay. On a profile. Gets the jaw. It's a little trick. Two so, moves I got. Go on. I got this. I have this, I have this, which is the same picture I took for at a birthday party in second grade. Right, right. I have this with hand, hand in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have this dumb damn move that I have done in every photo. Because they make us take photos every season. So it's been like 13 years of ridiculous right. photos. I'm not a person that's been right. taking photos. And I, every single season I have this one. Because <laughs> I know I've how seen to, that one. I know how to put my eye up. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and so yeah, here I, we go. Yeah, yeah, I know how to put it up, and so I put it up because it's different than the smile. So there's two pictures of me on the internet: a smile and want my eye up. And then people called the Rock, and then, then like you know, that's 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 all I do. Here's the thing: I got news for you. You ready for this, Sal? Yeah, that's You're, fluffy. That's not me. <laughs> I got news for you, Sal. You're never going back to the fifty pound 
hot. This was your last. This was your last swing. I'd like to believe so. Now you're at fifty. Yeah. You're at f fifty down and probably counting for the rest of your life. That's a guarantee. Put it up here, right? That's a Chrissy D guarantee. A CDG. Is that right? Yep. All right. Prize I'll picks. Promo code A, hey, babe. <laughs> I'm gonna burn it. Do you ever hear them say that when you want when you want to put something out there and believe in it, you picture a wall like at the back of the wall with it burnt like in flames written into the wall. Did you ever hear that? I, I have it, but I'm going to... It's a bit of a, it's a, it's a, bit of a, a, a mouthful, though. Like, you, to, you will never be 50 pounds. This is the way you're this going. Is, yeah, I want you to burn in. You're never gaining 50 plus pounds again. Yeah. Never going to gain it. Never going to gain it again. Never going to gain you back. Yeah. Never going to lift you up because you're so light. You're, you're you fat. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's really funny? Like, when you lose this amount of weight, which, again, I've done my whole life, I've lived a you... You you feel the difference. Like imagine I put a fifty pound weight in your hand, you had to walk with it. No, it's crazy, right? So you, I feel lighter on my feet, and then yeah. all of a sudden, like I like if I had to like jog somewhere, you know, because of circumstance, like I'm like shit, I'm gonna miss the yeah. ferry or something. I start running, I'm like, oh my god, yeah. I'm running faster and lighter, yeah. and I'm not getting out of breath. You know what? I mean, it makes complete logical sense. I'm just saying, it's, yeah. it's an odd thing to feel well, like because oh, because oh. you work out. I think at like you know you get to an age too where like you're not working out. It's like yeah, everybody wants to look like the Rock, but it's like that's not in most of our cards. So like I now just work out because I'm like literally keeping up running after my kids. I'm, you know, d doing push-ups with the kids on my back. I'm doing all that stuff now. So it's like, this is why like I exercise. I have a motive where it used to be when I was young, I would just be like, I just want to be ripped. And then when I wasn't ripped, I'd be like, all right, I'm just going to have a cheeseburger. But now it's like, I don't care. That is not my motivation right. at all. Yeah, you know? I, I don't understand. Like, I mean, look, it must feel good to, to be yeah. ripped. I don't know how The Rock, you know, The Rock and Mark Wahlberg getting up at 2.45 a.m. and then doing six hours of the gym before they go to, you know, yeah. before we get up. Yeah, exactly. It's a bit much. Yeah. We, we, listen, we, The Rock couldn't look like him and then also have podcasts, two podcasts like he us. He couldn't have two successful no podcasts like no this. No way he couldn't do no. it. No, so. but he has muscles on his muscles. I will, yeah. wait, he's back in wrestling now. I don't know if you know that. No. He's fully back in wrestling for, that, for, for the time being. There's a program with him right now. And he is bigger and more in shape than he ever was when he was in the WWE. It's insane. Yeah, he's, 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 he's like peaking. No. I would like to have a body that looks like a healthy, fit body. I don't need big muscles. I don't even need washboard abs. Right. I just want to look healthy. You just want to be the guy when you walk in, I say that guy eats his vegetables. Yeah. Something like that. Like a Ken doll or something like that. You know what I mean? Well, like Ken is ripped though. Is he ripped though? Ken? Oh, is Ken ripped? Pull up Ken naked, please, real quick. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Please. Shout out Ken. Shout out Ken. By the way, Stevie, Stevie Ciccone, Rice Aroni's on the one, two. Trevor Karate's over there not doing his job. And then Venetia is here and she has told us not to tell anyone that she does have a pimple and she's covered it with a band aid. But Steve does have a secret camera on her face. <laughs> 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 and we will be interviewing that pimple shortly. Pimple patches. Um, oh, pimple patches. Sorry. <laughs> do, do you see? I, is he ripped? I don't know. Ken would has you, got. Would you call that Ken ripped? Is genderless. Why does that Ken have a moose? knuckle there. What is a moose knuckle? Is that a man's camel toe? No, I think it's just another name for a camel toe on a woman. I could be wrong. I didn't do research. Trevor, what does side talk say? <laughs> Trevor's brother is the owner and is the, is the co-creator of Side Talk NYC, one of the most successful Bing Bong. Instagram, Bing Bong, yes. one of the most successful Instagram accounts uh, in <gasps> history. So You're right! That's it, see? A moose knuckle, sometimes oh. called moose knuckles, is the male equivalent to the female camel toe. Wow. I know my gender. Just as a camel toe describes when the shape of a woman's labia are revealed through her clothing. So, what's so a moose what, knuckle. The, the two nuts? A <laughs> moose knuckle reveals a creased, visible outline of a man's genitalia, but I think it's a sack. Yeah. Okay. When I wear Lululemons, I have a sweet moose knuckle. Really? I, yeah. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't like that to be walking around with a moose knuckle. No. You know? Yeah. I just feel it's inappropriate. Um, I feel like, yeah, I mean, listen, we all know what we have in our pants, but it is a little, but yes, people don't care. Some, some people don't care. You know, if you tell no, a woman she has a camel toe, pants, I just you, mean like, why would it be? I don't want to like walk around and then anyone that looks down is like, oh, those are yeah. these two testicles covered by a thin layer of, right. You know, of, 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 of athleisure pants. Yeah. But let me ask you this. If a woman has a camel toe, is it rude to tell her she has one or, or in this day rude? and age, I would say absolutely not. You tell her. You tell her. In this day and age. Yes. Yeah, you tell her right away. You say yes. You say, ma'am, ma'am. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you don't want to get canceled, you tell her. Because tell her right away. 
say, ma'am, I've noticed that your pants are uh, being sucked into your vagina. I, you, uh, if you are, in fact, a biological woman, I just want to let you know yes. that um, it's it's. I'm not looking at it, but I just want to let you know. As it a, must as, be dry like the Sahara down there because I see a couple of camel toes. I see a couple of camel toes. <laughs> you tell That's her, and then you is. say you're welcome, and then you yes. just let her be. That's it. If she wants to correct it, she can correct it. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever see uh, Molly Shannon on SNL when she's like, I'm 50. Yeah. And she would hike up her red pants. <laughs> and it would it would legitimately, I mean, unless it was like a prosthetic in there, she would pull them up and it would literally show her vagina on air. <laughs> like That's not even, that seems like shady, but like, all, I mean, dead on 4K, like you saw, it's kind of wild that she right. did that. I mean, those, these old SNLs, were the, you know they're coming out with an SNL movie from the 1975 cast, like the 1975, like they're doing an SNL Google SNL. Oh, 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 I know what you mean. You mean that they're making a movie about that cast? Yes, like a biopic. Not that, not them. No, not them. But like each people are playing. Oh, about the that time. Yeah, that's pretty they, cool. I would love to see that. Yeah, actually. let me. Yeah, Saturday. Uh, no, no, not that. Set movie of SNL. Movie of a SNL movie, 19 SNL 1975 movie. Who's playing? Oh, the who? 1975. I love you. Who's playing? Now you're friends with them. And yeah, I know. Dude. That, I, that, oh, you burn okay. that on the wall. And yeah, but you know what? I texted Maddie Healy, Merry Christmas. He never wrote back. You know what? Put me on a group text with him. I'll set him straight. Got it. Thank you. Who's, who's playing? Garrett who? Morris. Dylan O'Brien. Uh, oh, Lamorne Morris. Is that the guy from? Lamorne Morris. Great actor. Yeah, I know who that is. I mean, he's the guy that's on. He's he's the guy that he has a podcast as well. Uh, that I don't know. I've I just seen I'm... him in like movies. Um, yeah, right. Does he sing or rap too? He was on. Was he on Shoes Off Pod? Yo, did you ever see the dude? Holy Jesus! Did you see that freestyle rapper on Instagram? Uh, His name is uh Harry which, Mack. What? Yo, dude. Have you seen this guy, Harry Mack? No, can we throw him up? Let me tell you something right now. I don't know, because it, it's 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 on Instagram, right? So can we play his clip? It's like us promoting him. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Let's just listen to it anyway. Like for the, you know, we'll dude, talk about it. I want to play it. Is there one clip specifically? <laughs> so this dude. All right, don't worry about that. They're just building a, a, a wrought iron bridge outside. Oh, yeah, th that's a gong. We're actually, we're doing the show right now from ancient China. <laughs> <laughs> so this dude, right, he he's a freestyle rapper. And you okay. think, okay, fine, whatever. Okay. No, man. So what he would do is, at least I think over the pandemic, he would go on to like, oh, oh, like, like a chatter, oh, chat, chat, Omegle. chat, 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 oh, oh, Omegle. Omegle. Oh. You know those ones where people are just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he'd be like, yo, what's up? And he'd be like, just give me a whole bunch of words. And then they would get to, and then he would rap, but he would rap in a way that you thought that he took five months to write the thing. It's not like rhyme and shoe with new, right? right you know, and it's not yeah. like just like and it, he. It looks like he's not even thinking. And this guy is spitting rhymes that are better than most written verses. I one night, I when I once I found, I found through Rick Glassman, shout out because he was on his podcast and they were all like freestyling. I went down a, like a three hour rabbit hole with this guy. And one thing was more impressive than the next. I can't believe that. That this guy is not a billionaire and the most famous like rapper on the planet. There's no one. I've, I mean, I've been a hip hop fan since, since like 1984. There has been no one I've ever seen in my life that can even come close yeah. to how this guy freestyles. Yeah. Interesting. A oh, good oh. one was when uh, the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, the, the new cartoon came out. I didn't see it. Uh, Ice Cube was involved with that. So he was like, they did something where it was the cast, the, the voice cast and Ice Cube and he was freestyling based off their suggestions yeah. and Ice Cube dapped him up at the end. He's like, dude, that was, that was insane. Yeah, dude, I, I, the ones I saw, like my, my jaw hit the floor. Now, this might be pointless if we can't play this. Do, do we know if we could play this? No, I mean, I'm sure that he's he seems so, so cool. I don't know if we got flagged on YouTube from YouTube, yeah. But it seems like because he, do, I think he does Instagram ones. Yeah, yeah, he does. Yeah, so I think platform, on Instagram yeah. we Try probably Instagram. could play it. Okay, right? yeah. we'll pull him up. Okay. Pull up Harry Mack Instagram. Um, dude, I mean, this girl I, looks I would love than to that. Get, he's in LA, dude. I would love to get this guy on the pod. Maybe he's I, come to maybe he comes to New York. I'll tell you what. I I was I've been meaning to go on and buy merch from him to support him because I've never seen. He has to be. He's like a beautiful mind, right? Yeah, he's pr he's probably. Uh, the, it's not just rhyming; they make sense. You they're think he's artistic? They're clever. He's yeah. artistic, possibly he's, artistic. He's artistic for sure. Full, right, full blown, full blown, full blown artistic. artistic, artistic. Yes, yes. he's artistic. Yes. Can you watch this one with Rick. 
well, this is the one I saw that I was just like, oh, that's fun. And then I clicked and I was like, oh my God. He's got insane ones. Yeah, try uh, to do like the Omegle ones or, or something, which is one that has a lot of views. Yeah, or like anything on the Venice Beach boardwalk. He just walks up and down. And like, yeah. Okay, sorry. Harry Mac. Cut this part out. Also want, a drummer. Can we shut those and open those? Just to kind of... Trevor shut Karate. the ones. I guess it's coming from over there, right? So we'll shut that one and open those other ones. FYI, guys can't see behind the scenes. Trevor Karate was just asked to shut the windows so we can stop hearing that loud guy, and he's crane kicked them all shut. <laughs> 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 all right, <laughs> this podcast episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. Love those people at BetterHelp. I use it. It helps me. Mental health is something we all need to speak about and talk about, and I love Better help you get uh, matched up with a licensed therapist. You t fill out a brief questionnaire, and then boom, they they match you with the right person, and you can change therapists at any time for any reason. It's amazing, um, and there's you know you don't have to go to the office. That's what I love. It's all entirely done online, um, and you know you just you just get the the mental health the therapy that you need. I love it. Right now, um, if you go to betterhelp.com slash hey babe, you're gonna get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp h e l p dot com slash hey babe. Better help h e l p dot com slash hey babe. Again, you know, if you're thinking of giving therapy a try, I say go for better help. I mean, it's just it's the best. I've I I've stuck to it. I've been doing it now for two years and I love it. It's really helping me. So, and again, it's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. So just go to betterhelp.com slash hey babe today. Get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H E L P.com slash hey babe. I want to talk to you today about prize picks. Prize picks. Football season may be over, but the action on the floor is just heating up. Whether it's tournament season or the fight for playoff home court, there's no shortage of high stakes basketball moments this time of year. Get in on the excitement with Prize Picks, America's number one fantasy sports app when you can turn your hoops knowledge into serious cash. Want to play alongside some of Prize Picks' favorite players like Meek Mill and Sugar Sean O'Malley? Well, you can now find community plays under the promos tab of the app to view entries for some of the biggest names in the Prize Picks community each week. Prize Picks offers injury insurance so that your entries stay in plize, even if one of your players gets injured. For basketball games, if you have a player who exits the game on the first half and does not return in the second, that player projection won't count against you and the rest of your entry stays live. Love it. And right now, if you download the app, Prize Picks app, and use the code HEYBABE, you're going to get a first deposit match of up to $100. So download the app today, use the code HEYBABE, and you will get a first deposit match of up to $100. Prize Picks. Pick more, pick less. It's that. Helix easy. mattresses. That's the mattress I have. That's the mattress I stand by. I love Helix. Okay? It's the greatest mattress. Unlike other brands, Helix, Helix mattresses do not contain fiberglass, which can be harmful to your health. We got no fiberglass, baby. Other mattresses companies use fiberglass as a flame retardant in their products, but Helix mattresses are free of harmful fiberglass materials. In fact... Helix owns its own manufacturing facility, which is entirely free from products containing fiberglass. You don't want to take my word? Well, Helix Sleep has over 12,000 five-star reviews. Is there anything worse than going to a mattress store and laying down on a mattress you know hundreds of people have tried out before you get some over-eager sales associate asking you all these questions? Well, you don't have to do that with Helix, okay? By supporting Helix, you allow them to support you. It supports me. It supports your back. I love Helix. And right now, as always, for being lovely listeners of this show, you are going to get a discount. So right now, Helix is offering 20% off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners. So go to helixsleep.com slash hey babe. That's helixsleep.com slash hey babe. This is their best offer yet, and it will not last long with Helix. Better sleep starts now. But great hair. You want to talk about good hair? He's got good hair. Oh listen to him, bro. Professional. Thank you. Uh, yo, can I do a freestyle for you guys? Yes, yeah. please do. Okay, dope, dope, dope. Uh, who's talking off camera? That's me. Hello. Oh, oh, gather around, gather around. I'm gonna do a freestyle. All right, all right, all right. There's three of you, right? Yeah. Can each of you give me like a creative, challenging word? No food, no animals, nothing basic. All right, ready? Exotic. Yes. Exotic. Yes. Sword. 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 Exotic. Sword. What about in the middle? You got a word? Word. 
I saw one where he did six words like it was nothing. He'll say about everything that's going on yeah. in the room. It's yeah. what? Okay. Uh, yeah. Even from a distance, I can spot it. Come on the real shit. Come on the high shit. Come on that trending tide. Big homie, we got it. Blowing up. Might pull up on them in excited. Yeah. Might go and get that win. Uh, count them, we got that grip. Hey, count them, we never gonna slip. Every time I see you, it's hard to trip. Hey, man, I'm holding the level. When they gonna freestyle, I'm hard body. Might pull up in the excited. that was made up and he has a thousand of them and he never says the same thing twice i don't get it <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. I know. and that honestly that was pretty good i've seen better ones yeah. that but, was, but that's already that's already the best you'll ever see unless you didn't see a better one from him right right, right. no but but so like i guess the question is then like for him like a guy like that wh what is the reason why oh he was on santino's pod I didn't yeah. realize. So what? What is it that like he's? He, I mean, he is. He is famous, right? I mean, he is. He did kind of blow up in the new way that people. Yeah, blow but up. I mean, yeah. I guess. I guess, and I hope. He, but he's not like I didn't know about him. So I yeah. just started to learn about. Him, but this guy should be. I mean, that was. Yeah, that, he, he didn't know what the beat was going to be. He did all the words. Then right. he talked about everything that was going on there, and then he was doing that flow that was insanely fast. Yeah, and again, I'm telling you, he has. 500 of these yeah. he never says the same thing twice <laughs> right it's insane and he blew up during the pandemic i don't know he's been doing it for a while when i was living in la i used to see him on the venice boardwalk doing it really yeah uh he was on ellen a bunch he did like a like a residency thing for her oh okay i didn't yeah, know that he um, yeah. he he recently did something on uh, venice beach boardwalk with mark uh Rebier. Oh, oh yeah, that guy's great. I love and, that and, dude. Yeah, that was a good. I mean, all the stuff that he does, like out there, like you know. Oh, you talk about like, those two? Those two dudes together would be 
Yeah. Insane. Mark Rebier is in that movie, uh, Ricky Stenicki. Yeah. Oh, he is? Yeah. He, they go, the, one of the plot lines is they're going to, a, they're telling their wives they're going to a uh, Mark Rebier concert. Oh, they, they said it by name? Yeah. And they oh, go, awesome. and they, he's in the movie. Oh, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah. So it was cool. It, 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 it was all, that, that Rick, I'm telling you, go see Ricky Stenicki. Our boy Andrew Santino's in it. Jermaine Fowler. Yes. John Cena. Man, Jermaine Fowler. Jeffrey, Jeff Ross is in it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Jermaine Fowler, God bless that man. God bless him. He is in. Between him and Lorel, I think they're in 100% of the movies. 100% of the movies. And television shows. Jermaine has a new television show that he's the lead on every like couple of years. And I, 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 I got, I went to the Ricky Stenicki premiere, and of course, Jermaine was there. You know, he's a cast member. Sweet he, guy. He wore a suit. Ready for this? He wore, and I think we have to do this, you and I, one day. He wore a suit, no shirt underneath, just the top button buttoned. No shirt. He had zero, just yeah. his skin and his suit yeah. and pants. I'll never do that. Why don't we do it? I'll never do Let's, that. That should be our goal. Let's write that on the wall <laughs> in fire. Yeah, all right. Wear, get to the weight and, and rip <laughs> level where we will wear Jermaine Fowler, no shirt underneath the suit jacket suit. I see it. It's, it's flaming right now. But I'll tell you right now, though, you can't just see, even if I could get that thin enough to feel like I could do that, I wouldn't do it. I can't emote sexually in that way. Right. I, 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 I just can't take myself serious to be like, that's too... I have a different type of swag, if I even have any at all. Right. It's not what that. What is your swag? What? What is your swag? How would you describe your swag? Give me swag in a bag. Yeah, it is. Like, like, do I always have swag on here? No, I, I play up a little bit. You know, I play up a little bit. But, but you know, I, I, I have a little bit of swag. You know, I, I, I have swag. Name, name, another, name another guy in his <laughs> mid-40s who's got swag like you, besides, you know, The Rock. Another guy in his mid-40s who has swag? Yeah, who's, who's swagging like you? People got swag. Yeah, but I mean, I, I got I put me on a spot. I have a swag list, but I mean, you got cool socks on, everything from head to toe. You got cool. This is you not got really wavy swag. hair. I, by swag, I mean more like fine. If I'm wearing some like cool streetwear shoes, that's not what I mean. I just mean like a PS swag, right? Mental swag, mental swag, which but, is where people want to be, you know. But it's just about being. I think it's just about being laid back and chill and knowing who you are. And, uh, you know, being, being confident, being being adept, uh, ad yeah, confident. You know, I'm sitting here being like, I, I <laughs> hate the way I look. I don't know how to smile. Yeah. No, but, but you do but, have straight teeth though. Thanks. But I don't have that swag. I don't have no shirt underneath. Also, you have to be thin, thin. I don't know if I'm going to get to thin. I was, thin. do you know, I was, I was, I was usually, I, I was known as the, like a, the twig, the twig. Really? When I was little, I was so, so thin. Interesting. Yeah. But you don't want to be a twig either. You look like a man. Yeah, but a twig is in now with modeling. Like you, you wear a suit and you can be a twig, and you go walk the runway, and they're like, "Yeah, oh, they love that, it." That twig. Here's an idea: Do you want to raffle off your retainer to one of the lucky uh, Hey Babe fans? I do. You would, have your retainer. I would, but the thing is, I have to wear it. But for how long? When is the last day? Perp. You, it's in perp. You have to wear your retainer in perpetuity. Apparently, apparently, I have to wear it every night. Really? To just to keep them in check. That's what I didn't do twenty, thirty years ago. Interesting. 35, 30, Jasmine 30, 32 years ago. has got those Invisalign braces where she has to take her, the, the things like in and out. Yeah, aligners. That's how yeah, I did for, this. I mean, but it's like everywhere, every, you know, I'm, I'm putting, I'm trying to make the kids bagels this morning and I, I her freaking teeth are on top of the toaster. Oven. Yeah. I'm like, can you please put, and then she's got to go to the bathroom <laughs> and take her teeth out. I'm like, Jazz, can you please? I, the, oh, that's right, because she got turmeric on them last yes, week. <laughs> yeah, she got turmeric on her teeth last week. <laughs> and then she had all these yellow teeth, so she had to get new ones. And then the other day, we were in the car, and I went to, we were eating a sandwich in the car, waiting for the kids to get picked up from school. And I went to go wipe my face with a napkin that was in the cup holder, and it had her freaking teeth in it. Yeah. I wiped her face with my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my teeth have been all over the place. Yeah. Um, Igor Bykoff right here. Uh, from Twig Models Agency. Oh, there's there's an agency called Twig, Twig? Models Agency. That there should be go. the goal is to get Twig Models Agency to follow us and then book us. Yeah, that's the goal here on the Hey Bay Podcast. Book us and then we have something to work toward. Yes, I want to get to Twig Models Agency. I want to be there. I want to be their number one star. You're gonna be a star. Can you be a star? When we were your your, your your thinnest, my thinnest. I mean, there was a time last year where I was like 208 pounds. That was too light for me, though. Right now, I feel actually comfortable in my body. I have a little bit more but body throughout fat. life. I mean, like when, when you were little, were you were like a skinny well, I was born six pounds, eight ounces. That's probably my lowest weight <laughs> the day I was born. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, I was 6'11". 6 6'11"? 6 yeah. My daughter, uh, Delilah, height, was height. born. My daughter was 6'10". 6 really? pounds, 10 ounces. Wow, we're all within three ounces of each other. Look at that. Yeah. My daughter, 6 pounds, 10 ounces, born at 10.04 a.m. May 19th, uh, 2015. And then my other daughter... Born June 
24th, 2021, she was seven pounds, one ounce. So she was born at 115 in the afternoon. Wow, look at that. Don't you love it? Isn't it? My dad calls me every year on my birthday, well, I, August 26th. At the time I was oh, born, 834 a.m. And it's always, he always will call me 834 a.m. Eastern time. And since I've been doing comedy, he is, it's always the same thing. Happy birthday. I'm not sure what time zone you're in, but it's 834 <laughs> where I am. And then my dad still to this day, like, you know, I've, you know, whatever, I have to go to California so much. Like it's three hours behind. He never, ever remembers it. He will always ask me what time is it there? I'm like, yeah. dad, whatever the time is there, it's minus three. My mom can't, does not that she can't remember it. She can't believe it to this day. She can't believe she it. Can't, she can't wrap her head around it. Yeah. So she's like, where are you? I'm like, Nashville. She's like, so what time is it there? I'm like, it's 10, 10. She's like, get out of here. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. She's like, no, because it's 12, 10 yeah. here. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, yeah. She's like, but it's 10, 10 there. 10, yeah. I'm like, yeah, my yeah. 10, 10, 10, yeah. Yeah, my dad, he goes, when we first time we ever went, he went to California, he came with me. And then like the sun was out. He goes, I've never seen the sun look like this. Never once in New York has it ever looked like this. I said, dad, it's a cloudless day. It's just, you know, he goes, it's got to be a different sun. I was like, there's <laughs> one sun in the universe. And that's it from New York to LA. But he couldn't like, believe. my dad told me, he told uh, me that he would be perfectly fine. He had never left like New York, New Jersey or Florida. He was like, I wouldn't, I don't care if I ever left ever, it wouldn't matter to me at all. And then finally his wife convinced him. He went to Italy for the first time, like 18 months ago. Now this guy wants to go to Italy. He wants to go all over the world. Now he has now. a fanny pack and zinc on his nose. He's ready to go. <laughs> yeah. But it isn't because I couldn't, I don't think I could get to my seventies and be like, I've never left three States, but it's not even that no. my dad feels, my dad was like, they I, came just, up I don't our care parents. at all. Our parents came up a little differently, you know? Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, don't you ever want to go to Australia? He's like, I'll Google it. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know response. if I'd ever go to tell you the truth. I have gone. I didn't know if I'd ever go to that because that is out of all the places you, I mean, you know, it's just, that's a commitment and it's expensive, but I yeah. did end up going and I really loved it. Yeah. But I've been to, I mean, how many places have you think you've been? I mean, I've been to a lot of places. I've been to, I've been a good amount of states and I've been now, I've really countries wise. I've only, I've only been to a few countries Trill. outside the U S yeah. you went to Australia's. Did you go to New Z's? Or I just didn't Australia's? go to New Z's when I was there. And I said, I'll never go back to Australia's without going to New Z's after that. Right. You got to go to New Z's. But, uh, you know, whatever. I, this place I still want to go to that I haven't been. Tons of places. Tons. But it's, it's hard, hard to travel now. I got to wait. When I retire, I think I'm going to be one of, those, one of those people that like hops around the globe. When are you going to retire? As comics, when can we retire? What's the age? I think about it and I have an anxiety attack. We, we control our own income. Right. And this when we so stop. when do you retire? When I, is enough I, enough? I think either when you hate yourself, <laughs> you don't get booked anymore, you drop dead, or... I don't know. Were you just ready to be like, no more income coming in? I hope I have enough of an nest egg to pay out the rest of my life. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. But then, yeah, I know. I, I think about that too. It's like, you know, you have a retirement plan. Yeah. But like, who said, I think Nate said something like that. Like, he's like, oh, there's no way we don't go to like eight. There's no, you don't go to Bill Cosby and say, like, all right, I'm handing <laughs> my papers. Yeah. This was before, of course, we knew that Bill Cosby, all those people, but yes. um, <laughs> I was going to do an allegedly, but he actually was convicted yeah. in the court of law. <laughs> Certainly. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you drop out the, the that word so we don't sponsors don't maybe we don't yeah, get yeah, it yeah 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 uh, yeah so anywho um, anywho is a good anywho is I want that to be out more anywho. I love anywho yeah anywho it's not a real is, word no. did it become a real word when people made it a real word I think so anywho a real word anywho anywho that just means anyhow right but it's being cutesy about it no right right wait oh, is it? oh what is that well, you're on my Instagram now. Wait, go up. Uh, this po What's being posted? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at that. Garden of Laughs. M March 27th, Garden of Laughs. Um, great charity at the Theater at Madison Square Garden. Bill Burr, John Stewart, Michael Che, myself, Sam Morrill, Jim Gaffigan, Heather McMahon, That's Tracy Morgan. Great lineup. And it's lineup. for a good cause, right? It's for a good cause. It's for the Garden of Laughs um, uh, charity, which is... Um, uh, an amazing charity where the, I'm sorry, it's for the, um, what's the charity? It's not, it's not garden of laughs. Uh, garden of laughs is the name of the show. Um, garden of dreams charity, which is a great charity because they don't, they just help kids in whatever way they need help, which okay. I like. It's not specific to anything. They're like, if you need help with this, we help you with it kind of thing. So I like them. It's, it's, it is, it is a great cause. Vermin com Vecman comedy said the jacket is fly. Thank you. People are like, oh, the Knicks did the Knicks game. Oh, that's that? dope. Yeah. I'm going to the Knicks game April 4th. April 4th? Yeah, you should go. I'm going to be in Florida. Okay. Sorry. Or else I would come. Yeah. I just took Delilah to the Knicks game, her very first Knicks game. Oh. 
took her to. We had great seats right underneath the basket, like on yeah. the court. Oh, yeah. Under, yeah, yeah. Saw that. Yeah. You saw that, yeah. dude. Delilah, my daughter. First of all, is like laugh out loud funny. She has got the best personality because she's like just not shy at all. Yeah, and like was up in that suite. You know, talking to everybody, all the people at MSG were like, "I'm going to work for you someday," and and like cool. Mm -hmm. And then and then she started actively talking to the Philadelphia yeah. 76ers, <laughs> like the team could hear her. So like this guy, uh, Aubrey, uh, on the Sixers, great great player. He did like a nice like spin move, like layup, whatever, and kind of landed close to her. And she was like, "Yeah, that was okay." <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then he go and he turned it and he laughed, whatever. And then he hit a jump shot like a few minutes later. And she goes, "Yeah, that one was all right." And he goes, "What was wrong with that one?" She goes, "It'd be better if he played for the Knicks." <laughs> <laughs> and everybody was like laughing, dude. Bad. She was. Everybody was like, "Oh my god!" But then she started like screaming like every five seconds. I had to be like, "All right, yeah. calm it down. <laughs> you know, you don't need to go crazy, crazy." But um. Yeah, she, uh, she, it, it was great. It was a great experience because, like, it took me back to my first Knicks game. My first Knicks game, whatever, my father took me to, uh, Madison Square Garden, New York Knicks versus the Orlando Magic when they had Shaquille O'Neal was a rookie, <sighs> Penny Hardaway. That's a hard ticket. Yeah, like, but my dad, we were sitting like in the upper yeah, deck. Yeah, you saw Penny. Wow. Saw so Penny and everybody. And it was, it was a great, it was great. And it was so fun because, you know, I'm just like, I'm just like a little kid. And yeah. I don't like, you know, like you're a kid, like you don't know any, like it's all innocence, right? So Patrick Ewing did like a two hand slam, yeah. like, and then like hung on the, hung on the rim and swayed. Yeah. And I was like, dad, he's swinging on the, on the, on the rim, like a big monkey. <laughs> and I went about, and I started doing that. And they're like, that's cute. But my dad was like, don't ever do that. Again. <laughs> and I was like, what? And then he explained to me like, you know, that you shouldn't say that. And I was like, oh, okay. I, I, I just thought. I remember that being a thought where I was like the first thing. thought it thing. was like Coco Melon or something. Yeah, I thought it was yeah. like, I thought it was like, you could just say that, like, it's a monkey, it's an animal. And he was like, no, no, there's, there's things in our society. Yeah, you're going to have to learn about the world right now. And I was like, oh, great. Game. I was like, well, <laughs> nine. And I was like, you yeah. know, I remember being mad at my dad for even like making me feel uncomfortable, but he was just like trying to help me. <laughs> you and made I, it weird, dad. I, yeah, you made it weird. And I was like, you know what, dad? Mom, no one in this section cares. Yeah, I said, I'm on mom's side in the divorce now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I remember every every first game, like the first time you walked out of like and saw Yankee State, like you walked through the tunnel and then saw it, like yeah. the, the sheer size of it. Oh, yeah. You're like, what? Yeah, you know, same thing with like the same thing with basketball and every. I remember my first game of all of them, but yeah, April Fourth should be good. Um, who the, who are the Knicks playing? Uh, I'm gonna guess right now the Portland Trailblazers. You know what's funny? I thought it was the 76ers actually. It might be. I, I mean, they play not. them often. Knicks beat the shit out of the 76ers. Who's, can, we, last night. can we figure it out who's playing? Them? April Fourth. Oh, Kings. Oh, Kings. Kings. That's gonna be a good yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you we'll know who go. might be there at the Kings game? Hassan Minaj. Is that right? At the he's Kings a, he's, a, he's from Sacramento. Okay, that's so his favorite team. I, he'll probably take my seats then. I'll be take your seats. Him. Right, we're gonna they're gonna do the jumbotron because we're promoting the May fifth Radio City musical show. Oh, great! So that's there with MSG. You know that, so you go sure. there and it's kind of a crazy experience. You feel like a moron too. Oh yeah, they help you because they're the same. They're the, they own the Garden, owns Radio City, they own Chicago Theater, which we're also playing the Chicago Theater April twenty first, um, and May fifth in Radio City. But they so they help you like promoters. So you go there and they put the freaking thing on. You've you've, you've I've done, done it. it. I've done it. Yeah, and you just don't know what to do. No, nope. you know. And then they hold it on a little long, and then you think <laughs> it's weird, like with the cat, like we're taking photos, and I'm just like. Imagine like taking it smiling and then it stays on you for like a, like eleven seconds and you're just like yeah and then you don't know whether to look left or right and then people like might be like yeah for like eight seconds and it's dead silent for like another eight seconds you just stand there yeah. looking at it yeah you feel like such an idiot you feel like an idiot man it's one of the most it's it's a beautiful honor to get asked to do it but it's yeah. one of, I'm almost like when I go to Knicks games I'm almost not hoping but I'm almost like. Hopefully there's like it's a dream a come true. It's, it was it felt surreal to be asked but to, to do that. It's but. embarrassing. It can be it. It can be. I think at like like unless you're like Robert De Niro, where like you know they're gonna go nuts. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, at yeah. a point where it's like they may clap or may not, yeah. and it's just <laughs> risky. Or, or, or like some people will have the balls to be like like they'll look into the camera and be like yo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, if I did that, I would be mortified. Yeah. I know like people start throwing stuff at me. I'm going to do it this way. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, do I it. can't do, do it. it. Do it. Maybe I'll do it just for, for us. Yeah, I'll have someone. Yeah. I'll have someone record me when it's on me, and I'll just do it. <laughs> Dude, you know, I'll record the game. <laughs> you, you know, who else, you know who else was at the next game, sitting like two seats away from us? Matthew Modine, who played like the evil doctor sure. in Stranger Things, and Delilah oh, loves yeah, yeah, Stranger yeah. Things. So she, we were like you married know, like, to the mob, Matthew Modine. Yeah, we went. We went up to like you know like the. The owner has like a suite there. It was like a nice buffet, whatever. So he he was there, and she was like, "Isn't that the isn't that the doctor from Stranger Things?" And I go, I go, yeah, Eleven's I go, dad. I go, I go, yeah, I go, I go, yeah, it is. And then she she goes, she goes, hi, and he goes, oh, hey, hey, honey, whatever. She goes, you weren't very nice. <laughs> and, was, and then he was like, oh, Stranger Things fans. <laughs> She's like, like, no, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. no. And so I was like, good for you, no, Modine, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna well, all right. What, what what make up what you want me to do on on the jumbo when they put on me? Should I look in and just be like, blah, blah. yeah, no. When they <laughs> when they honestly, I, do? I think when they. What do I want you to do? Should I have like a, an ice pop or something to just pick it up? Yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> so <I'll let> you, <laughs> what what do you want me to do? I'll do it just for, like for for us. Um, see, Jay, like you know, it's Jay Jay Jada Kiss, Kiss, you know, it's Sabathia, Action, Action Bronson. Bronson. He's like, whoa, <laughs> Benedict Wong, Connie, yeah. Yeah, I feel like these people, like, you know, obviously well, they know they're going to go nuts for them. Henrik yeah. Lundqvist, like, they're going to go nuts for them. I mean, uh, Quest Love was just, just it looked like he was you? just. Or is it going to be you with the guy? Just me. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I want to see maybe a hand in the pocket, half smile. But so they hit you like, they hit <laughs> you like here. I think they hit you like here. There's a part in the movie Ricky Stanicki where they have a whole bit about air dicks. Maybe you do an air dick. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, like the yeah. way it makes you where, you where you go like go next, but you're like it's, it's right on the edge so, of like let's go next. <laughs> like that. We're like you're yeah. you're actually you're actually not doing anything inappropriate. It could just be misconstrued as that. <laughs> you know, like like a kid could see that and be like, oh, he's just happy. Right, right, right. But an adult right. would be like, what are you doing? And and you, and you I can, you think I can live with that for the rest of the game in there? Like mm -hmm. I think so. Mm -hmm. I think they're gonna go nuts for you. Anyway, so I think like whatever you do, it's not about them going nuts or not. I hope so, but but it just no matter what, I feel stupid. Right, I know. Was it all three of you at the same time? It'll just be me. Oh, just you. Yeah. Okay. The other guys are not going to the game. That game. No, I don't know if they're going at all. I mean, I, Murray went to a Ranger game recently and did it. Right. Um. But yeah. So. But anyway, May fifth to come to Radio. You know what would be funny if you if but I mean it, then you have to bring stuff if you went if they put you on the jumbotron you pulled out a baseball glove. Like you pulled out the wrong sport, and you're like, <laughs> "That's funny." Baseball dude. and a baseball glove, and you're like, yeah. like, <laughs> "Like throw the ball and like, like just be like, yeah, <laughs> home run." <laughs> <laughs> or just pick up baseball, baseball, and be like, "Yeah," <laughs> <laughs> be like, "Cheetah," yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or eating, you could eat through it. It's funny. You gotta get a humongous foot long hot dog. Like, yeah, 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 like yeah. that. You know, like uh, you know, some ice cream or um. Dance the thing it. is. The thing is, if it doesn't hit, right, <laughs> and it bombs, then it's tough. Because <laughs> then it, go, it bombs, and then it goes off, and then the all the people, I'm, I got, got the hot dog shoved in my mouth still, and then I got to just be like, get back into the game. Like it, well, because it's, you've it's never, a big swing. You've never been on the Jumbotron there when you haven't already been like almost a guarantee where the people are going to know you. Like by the time, when you went on the Jumbotron, you were already like, you know, known. I've been on the Jumbotron at a much, 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 much lower level than I am now. And I told you about, I told you about, you know, about uh, Phil Collins. I told you, that. I think yeah. I told this on the pod yeah. where they put Phil Collins up on the jump. This was 2016. Your father, right? They put Phil Collins up on the Jumbotron and yeah. they played, we can feel it coming in the air tonight, the drum solo and the, the stadium went, the arena went crazy. And you were next. And they put me on immediately within five <laughs> seconds after and you could hear an absolute <laughs> pin drop. And my dad, I said, was just rubbing my back and he was whispering, it's all going to be over soon. <laughs> yeah. And I was sweating and that I've never bought, you cannot bomb harder than that. You cannot get more uncomfortable than that. So that, that was wrong what they did to you. Yeah, they was just a mix up. They gave, that gave me solace though, where I was like, that's the I worst it could ever possibly <laughs> yeah. get. So it can't get worse than that and you survived that. <laughs> so, what if I brought like a like a recorder that has a massive cheering on it. <laughs> and then when they put the camera, like they turn on right here, I just hit play and put it up to the mic of the camera and you hear like the voice go wild, <laughs> yeah. even though no one's clapping. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, is there a bit from, like, because sometimes what people do, like when they put Matthew Modine up on the Jumbotron, he had like, you know, stra something with strange, like written from Stranger Things on a piece of cardboard. Oh, like something you could do that. Okay. Some like inside thing where they'll go nuts for it, you know? Yeah. Think of that.
<laughs> uh, what if I hold up Let's Go Knicks, but not with the K? <laughs> like I misspell it. Like I hold the beat, let's go N I C K S. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm like, let's go Nick. And they're like, what? <laughs> um, that might be funny. Yeah, that's pretty good. If they get it again, if they don't get that though, yeah. or if some people are like this idiot spelled <laughs> it wrong, right? Or you know, it'd be funny. I've never seen anyone be like, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it while the camera's already on. Yeah. And they're like, I'm not. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. no, no, no. <laughs> that's fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta think of something. I want to think of something. Or take a call. <laughs> <laughs> so when it comes on me i'm just like <laughs> well you know what happened with me they threw they they threw me on there once this was about a year ago and mike cannon was with me and i said when they when they throw when they when they throw me up on that i said uh, well kit like come in like give like like a kiss like a joke <laughs> and we did it and it bombed and they immediately put the camera off us <laughs> Yeah. Oh, my God. oh, so you kissed on the jumbo? We tried. Oh, yeah, so me you, and did, Mike you, you didn't even get to it yet. Did you ever see Ari kiss um Ari kiss a Duncan Trussell at no. the UFC pay per view event? They were in like the second row no. and they started making out. <laughs> no, and it was like oh, it was Ari. on camera. <laughs> it was legitimately on camera. Ari, like, yeah, Ari Shafir, Duncan Trussell, what make UFC make out? Yeah. No, I never seen it. He's our next guest. Oh, here we go. I don't know if we could show this. I mean, play this, but we can play it without this. Without the sound. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ari's going to be on next week, I think. You should have yeah. showed it when he was on. <laughs> look, look, look. <laughs> oh, the best. oh, my God. I'm, I'm actually doing what you said, charity, right? Just to remind me, I'm doing a charity event on June 10th at Mountain Ridge Country Club in West Caldwell, New Jersey. It's for a, um, a friend of the family has a, a, has a, a, a child who has this, um, this disease called Usher 1F. It's a very rare thing. It's, it's, really, a, it's really tough. So anyway, uh, I'm going to be there on June 10th, uh, just kind of hanging out, doing a meet and greet kind of thing. And you guys could, could check it out. The, the website is Usher, like Usher, like U-S-H-E-R. 1f.org slash outing. I just wanted to you know, throw that out there, help the family out. Venetia has Steve saved in her phone as Steve, new producer guy. That's... <laughs> She's pulling up her text <laughs> thing, uh, and she has him in a Steve, new producer guy. So <laughs> when you see Steve Ciccone, Rice Roni in the streets, you call him Steve, new producer guy. <laughs> um, oh, well, there we go. I, oh my God, I can't believe it. What happened? So we're doing a lot of press right now. This is what I'm doing. Not for that show, but in general, we're doing a lot of press because we just, they're moving us over permanently to TBS now, the show. Okay. Okay. So season 11 that I'm filming now starts airing this summer. Mm -hmm. So there's like three more episodes of season 10. It's all airing during the final four of championship games. Oh, sick. Yeah. And so they have us doing press for that. And then to promote this new season and the move over to permanent move over to TBS, they're going to show reruns on True, but True is going to become a fully like sports, primetime sports network. Really? At night. With our reruns in the day, but our new episodes are all going to be on TBS. So I just got a thing to go on Kelly Ripa in the morning, um, oh Monday. Oh, sick. and I haven't been invited. We have we weren't invited back after what happened last time. What happened? Last I did time? say that. No. Yes. Oh, but what happened? I don't remember. Yeah, I just kind of like I I was at uh, I was at Aaron Berg's wedding the night before. Right. <laughs> and I and I got really drunk at the at the thing, and I went there, and I was kind of like drunk, and I was both going to throw up and everything. Uh, Chris <laughs> Pratt. Chris Pratt was the guest, yeah, and he was promoting Magni the Magnificent Seven, the cowboy movie they redid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Denzel Washington was his co-star, and so Denzel Washington. We, I told you, but he was the guest on that day, and we were the other guest. Yeah. And so I was, I, I was like drunk. It was like six in the morning. I went over and I bought a T-shirt across the street at CVS, and I wrote the Magnificent Seven on it. Yeah. I took off my outfit and I went out in a Hanes T-shirt, but I misspelled it. I said Magnificent Savan. Yeah. And I walked out and I was like, I was going to be like, I'm wearing this because you guys need all the help you can get with this movie. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I thought it was going to be funny. And then I, so I put on my, and I told the, I didn't tell the other guys. Right. And I put, and I walked out then before we even started. I, 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 well, actually what happened was they gave a trip away to a lady and he gave her a second guess and he wasn't allowed to, and she got it wrong and he gave her another, she got it right. And then Chris Pratt said, you can have the trip. And then they told her on air that she can't have the trip. She's not allowed to have a second guess. And Chris Pratt was just the host for the day. And he was like, oh my God. And he goes, all right, I'll pay for her trip. Really? Yeah. And then Kelly was like, we'll pay for a trip. She's going to go. And then Denzel came out and she, she's like, I was listening from the back. How much was the trip? And they tell him, he goes, I'll go in three ways. And so when I went, when I went out there, before the people even stopped clapping, I just stopped everybody. 
And I was like, excuse me, I just want to say before we even get started, please, I just want to say I'm not going in four ways on a trip. <laughs> for the <one. laughs> And it bombed? It bombed, yeah. The, like, like bad. Bombed, yeah. Like the crowd just like, some people like, uh, and it was just like a murmuring and they were like, ah. Uh, and then they just kind of tried to move past it or whatever. <laughs> and and then I think it was like no no he's just he's she's getting the trip and, and then I and then I un- I had my shirt out I unzipped it and then like they didn't talk about it. <laughs> so, <laughs> Do we have footage of that? Yeah, it's out there. It's out there. But um, but uh, but you going we, back? We now. had been on like three times in like a year before that, and right. then that was like no joke. That was like six years ago, and we never got. Back. I say <laughs> I say you go back. You go back and tell oh my that God, story. I wear the same shirt. I should, I should tell th- the story. Tell that story, man. Oh, that, that's, that's a funny. great story. Yes, I there should be is. like. Can I tell the story <laughs> of what happened to us last time on this? <laughs> I should. The magnificent, the magnificent savant. <laughs> <laughs> What did the other guys say? Were they like, what the hell were you do- thinking? Or they didn't... Yeah, well, since they didn't talk about the shirt, like, like I, I think Chris Pratt under his breath went, nice shirt. Yeah. But like, we, and I just was standing there wearing a Hanes t-shirt with my own handwriting on it that said Magnificent Savant. And we didn't talk about it. And you then, do still look actively drunk. Hey, what's up, Hey, baby? hey. Look at that. It's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so... <laughs> they put me... I got there. They put me in an office... And right. let me go to sleep on a couch in someone's office when I got there. I was so drunk. You're so drunk. Look, Q's Bandit. got good hair there. Yes. Q's got like a... Fa- his, his hair looks like founding father hair. Yeah, he used to have that kind of... Yeah, that he, thing he does look on. like a founding father. He could, I he could, could see pass him on a, the one. Yeah. On, a, on a piece of currency. Yeah, where we at, babe? Where we at? We're good. Uh, 56 minus right, like yeah. three right. minutes, so 54 minutes. All right, babes. Well, listen, this is... Uh, we're going to tell you... Bandit has entered the room. Bandit has entered the room, and we're going to tell you why... In a minute, um, we have, uh, yeah, we have um, our next guest just arrived, and uh, you're going to find out who it is. Just here's a guess who our ne- next week's guest is. You just saw him making out with Duncan Trussell <laughs> at a UFC match. <laughs> That's the guess. Oh, no. Actually, matter of fact, this might come out first. Oh. It's his because he has to promote something. So. Well, you just went into the future, It folks. was like memento. Yeah, <laughs> it's like we're doing a podcast from Australia. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, babe. Uh, love uh, you, babe. Call me, maybe. I've had to pee for the last 90 minutes. This has been Hey, babe.